for it being like the most popular knife on the planet from ProTech and Emerson, you think we were reviewed it by now? Didn't Darren? Did Darren get one? Yeah, he got the S45 Blade HQ exclusive one. Nice. Well, welcome everyone. Today we have <clears throat> Gearhead EDC. Oh, no, not not Tom. <laughs> review. Sorry. Requested review. <laughs> we enjoy that. Thank you, Gearhead EDC, for requesting that we review. One of the most venerable EDC knives on the market today, and that is the Protec Emerson CQC7. Yeah. Now, it's the CQC7 blade, but with the Protec action. It's actually a really interesting knife, um, and it is odd that we haven't jumped into it, especially because it's been in the Clip Point collection for a while now. Um, but it is a really cool knife. And I'm glad I happen to have it so that when somebody asked about it, we yeah. there. We well, it's funny is, is we always, like every now and then, if you're not familiar on Instagram, we'll drop some questions asking you guys, you know, for content ideas or, you know, what would you like to see? And nine times out of 10, somebody, you know, if it's asking for a certain knife, we usually have it or know somebody that has it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But this one, it was just kind of odd that we hadn't done it yet. So. Yeah. It's, it's probably because we just think, the knife's been out for so long that maybe there's not a lot of demand for people to have a review on it. But you know what? We can always put our, our spin on it. And, yeah. I and mean, it's worthy of that amount of time. We so. do have a unique uh, review process. You know, we go through our normal four uh, topics, you know, as far as uh, ergos, tactical, EDC, and cool factor. And uh, then we give you an overall score at the end. Yep. But uh, it's, oh, a, it's a sweet knife. And I'm Greg. I'm um, Josh, by yes. the way. I mean, like, subscribe, hit that bell. You know, you know the YouTube life, right? So here we go. Let's let's jump right in to the snappy action of the bad boy. Yes. So I don't know. You know, it's weird. What? Me being such an Emerson fan that I don't have a CQC7 for us to compare like a regular Emerson CQC7 with the Protect. But anyways, go ahead. I saw it and, you know, I wanted that automatic with that aggressive Tonto, mm -hmm. so I had to have it. Um, now, that is a chisel grind, right? Yeah, it is a chisel grind, and that, that threw me, because I didn't know that when I first bought the right. knife, right? I knew that about Emerson, but I didn't think that it carried over to Protec. So when I got the knife, I was like, whoa. Which I'm curious. I don't know, and I, I don't think we know in, together. But I, I know ProTech because we figured this out from Darren's. ProTech manufactures these knives, mm -hmm. the blades too. That's my understanding. So if I'm, I bet it doesn't have the Emerson heat tree. Oh, that's a good question. I, I'm not sure how that, that That's interesting, though. I'm, because we've heard us, if you've been on this channel for any time, you've heard us rave about Emerson's heat treat. So I would be interested to know. So I think we should jam it into this metal table and then see if we can bring the tip back. Not going to happen. My name is not <laughs> Chip. I'm not, my, I'm not my baby brother. So the the cool thing about this is is the all black with the kind of the brushed silver hardware. Yeah. I really enjoy mm -hmm. that. You know, when I got the knife, it was not sharp. That's, you know, kind of typical. Also... Um, Typical I, for ProTech. Yeah, and I was looking at it, and I was like, oh, man, how am I going to sharpen this? So this is actually the knife I learned how to sharpen on a chisel. And it, obviously, as you can see, it cuts fine. Uh, it's 154 CM, which is the standard for a lot of ProTechs, but also a lot of uh, Emersons as well. Mm -hmm. So, but, Pretty much all Emersons are 154 CM, except for like the one CQC7 flipper, which is S35 for whatever reason. All right. So, where do we start? Ergos. Ergos. Uh, you know what? It's a little slick. Yeah. It's a little slick. And the, the finger grooves are not super duper deep. There's no jimping on the inside. There is jimping up here. And the blade does have a false wave. Yeah. To kind of give it that Emerson look. Yeah, and so it gives you ramp. a thumb ramp. Yeah, it turns it into a thumb ramp, which is which is definitely functional. So you know, one thing I will well, I'll talk about it in cool factor. I'll hold it. Okay, okay, good. So yeah, ergos are good. It's probably you know it's a good full hand. It doesn't have any significant hot spots, but it's not overly grippy. So I would probably give it a seven out of ten for ergos. If you're a real ergo freak, it's going to feel a little flat to you. No, yeah, it's it's very boxy. 
And the clip is a hot spot in this setup. Yep. For me. No, it is. Handshake. It's not horrible, but it's there. Um, and I can see where it's slick. You know, like, especially if you're, with it being a Tonto, if you're having to force this into something, your hand's probably going to come up. It might. I mean, when you really think about it. Yeah. I'm going to go six out of ten uh, for me on it. Yep. Mainly because of how slick it feels. Yeah. Um, I can get past the hot spot. I can get past the boxiness, but. Most Protex are that way, though. Oh, yeah. Most of them are. Now, they do make different variations, and I've seen some that have some grip, but most, the common, is this kind of anodized aluminum. Yeah. All of uh, my all of my Protex have a similar feel. They're just snappy it because is, it's a Protex. Pro yeah. So, tactical. Yeah, so tactical, it does have the intimidation factor. It does have an excellent tactical blade. It also has a really thick point. But it comes down really fine. So I mean, it's the... It's got good stock, the way they designed it. It's the, the Uncle Sam of Tonto blades. I mean, when you come to the OG American Tonto blades, it's... That's what it looks like. It's got a slight drop that well, leads to I mean, a more aggressive point. So, yeah, from a tactical standpoint... Daddy Ernie over at Emerson kind of yep. kind of spearheaded the, uh, Tonto, the American Tonto. You know, no pun intended with the whole spearheaded, but... From a look point... It's very, very tactical. Yeah. Sorry, I'm supposed to be laughing at that point. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. It looks, it looks more tactical than it is. Right. Because it is a little too slick. Mm -hmm. it, it does not have deep enough grooves or some sort of jumping or maybe, you know, inserts that would create. I like the aesthetic of it. It's very pleasing to the eye. But I'd probably... I think your GSD... Uh... Protec is more tactical than this. Yeah, I mean, does because it a, has the insert. Does that finer point? Does have an insert, so your your kind of if molds your hand molds to it mm -hmm. more. So you know, from a tactical standpoint, it is an automatic, so it has the intimidation factor of tactical, but practical tactical. How many times I'm gonna say tactical? Is you know, it's probably gonna be, I would say, a seven out of ten for me on the practical tactical side. So practical, it's not tactical. bad. It's it's good. It, it'll definitely get the job done. There's no doubt about that. It'll definitely get the job done. Yeah, um, especially because it's got that name Emerson, but there's no wave system. If it had a wave system, totally different story. Um, I mean, it's going to be fast to deploy because it's an automatic, but it's still not wave fast. Um, like I mentioned earlier, it's slick. So if you jab it into something, you know, that little bit of jimping ain't stopping your hand from sliding up. The only thing that's going to stop your hand from sliding up is if whatever you put it in is right up against the handle there. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, it definitely has the intimidation factor, like Greg said. Um, if you like to EDC a Tonto, that would be a really great automatic EDC. And I did carry it quite a lot. It's been carried. It does a good job. It's reliable. It's lightweight. Let me see how much it weighs real quick. Um, but I'll, I'll probably go six out of ten, I think, for me, for tactical. Yeah. Um, so under four and a half ounces for a good three and a half inch roughly blade. So, yeah. But, you know, considering if you were in the market for, you know, this knife in particular, and you just like the automatic, and, you know, you're just a fiend for that, and you want that, this is a great option. Yes. But... If you really are wanting a more of a tactical blade, I would suggest you look at the standard Emerson CQC7. That's what I would do. All right, then. And to uh, EDC. Yeah, so it's lightweight, very functional. For a Tonto blade, you know, its EDC is pretty pretty up there. It's kind of surprising because a lot of times Tontos, you know, don't do as well in my mind. But I've carried this, this a lot. And... From an EDC standpoint, its size, its ergos are reasonably good. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 on EDC. It is more of an EDC knife than it's a tactical knife, even though it's a tactical blade. You know, so there's some blended themes here in my mind. So, but yeah, I've enjoyed carrying it. It's very snappy, very reliable. Well, it being not heavy is a huge plus for EDC. Yeah, it's only 4 um, ounces. That is, that is light. Pretty deep carry clip. Um... Obviously, snappy. It's not going to be great to pull out and mix company. Yeah. Uh, but you could soft open it. You could unlock it and just kind of roll it out. Uh, what was your score? Eight? Eight. 
I enjoy. I, I've enjoyed carrying. Well, it. and it's your knife. You've yeah. You've had some time with it. It's been. It's been. It's been very functional, very usable. Yeah, I think it, eight's a good score. You can take it to the gym because it doesn't weigh you down. Right. Eight's a good score. I, I'm it's gonna go black, with eight so as well. Dark colored pants. It doesn't show up. You Be know. higher if it was a drop point, but then it would take away from the CQC seven. Uh, you know, stylings. So yeah. awesome. But the cool factor is the reason why I think. Yeah. People buy this for sure. Yeah, it's a nine out of ten for me on cool factor because it is snappy pro tech action. I mean, hopefully I picked up, but it does what it does. It is snappy as all get out. It looks good. The hardware is right. It's flat. It has an open pillar back, which is rare for a side opening. Right. A lot of times it's closed. Which I, you you love that because it helps you keep the knife clean. Yeah, and I like how all of the, the hardware is matte. Well, I like it when they match the hardware. I can't stand yeah. it when hardware is... When it doesn't make sense. It doesn't right. go with the flow or the design ethos of the knife. It's like, oh, you had silver hardware hanging around. Right. Let's just throw some silver hardware in a black knife. This is matte hardware that's silver, and yeah. it goes really well because the blade is matte. One of the things I absolutely love about the cool factor is, even though the blade is printed on... Their, their black coating is really, really tough. Yeah, it is. It is not like cold steel, the old school Teflon, yeah. you know? It doesn't flake off. And I really like their... What color is that? It's not tan, but it's... Bronze? It's a bronzy... It's like a brush bronze. It's not silver. It's like you a know, brush You know, with, with the words and everything. So it feels it feels good. It's, it's cool for me. It's a 9 out of 10. If you like a black knife... That's flat and matte. A lot of knives aren't today. They're well, some weird mix. It's hard to get black on black on black on black. And then the buttons and the hardware, they, they pop subtly. Let me tell you, you know, from this knife design in general, across Protex board, um, just to get it over with, my score is 9 out of 10. But um, they've come out with this knife and some really cool options. My only complaint is that they sell out so fast and you can't get them and i even had the option yeah. had it in my cart and then decided against it because it's like man i got so many knives but they've come out with this in the operator version which is the one i had in my cart i don't i'm so mad i let that go um they had the uh, j10 version uh with the black blade like they've had some cool versions of this knife and i love to see it um i'm glad that emerson trusts them with their blade shape that's cool because you always see all these different knife manufacturers using Emerson's wave system. Mm -hmm. But very seldom do you see knife manufacturing manufacturers using Emerson's blade. Yep. Uh, blade shave with the chisel grind. Uh, but yeah, 9 out of 10. Really cool knife. Yeah, it's a great representation of the Emerson brand for those that are that are fans. And <clears throat> well, it, says, it says a lot about uh, Emerson, too, to allow their knife to become an automatic. You know, it's, it shows that they're not just stuck in the old school what works wave system with grippy g10 that they actually allow their stuff to progress it's it's cool yeah so overall uh eight for me yeah. well it's not for you it's for us it's an overall score well i know but we can discuss it well let's look at let's look at the numbers six seven six seven it was a uh, eight, eight and nine it was a nine yeah, yeah, i agree nine. with eight yeah yeah i think eight's the right number yeah because it, it's, it's too a great good, knife. it's too good to be seven. Any any pro tech is gonna bring is gonna be above the average because the action is so good. Well, that's the thing about pro techs. You know, we we're talking about the CQ, CQC seven pro tech, but any pro tech is the pinnacle mm -hmm. of side opening automatics. Yes, every one compare, we've had, we've not been like here's the uh, the Medford Swift. Kind of slow. Yeah, here we'll do them at the same time. Three, two, one. That wasn't the same time. We'll try again. Three, Three two, two, one. This one just has more punch. Yep. Three. Um, whatever. You get the point. Yep. Whatever. And it's not to diminish any other anybody else's automatic. It's just for whatever reason, Protex side opening automatics just have the punch. I don't know yep. if it's a spring. I don't know. But if you're going to get one, it's the one to get. Yeah, you're always going to enjoy your pro tech. Yeah, it's going to function. It's going to hit hard. It's going to be well designed. Our feedback to pro tech, they'll probably never see this. Sharpen your knives. Yeah, for real. That, Sharpen your that's knives. the thing. Every pro tech we've ever gotten We're, has been dull. Every single one of them has been box opening acceptably sharp, which for the money 
you know, and hire some guys. Goodness. I'll do. I can show you how to sharpen your knife if you like. You saw how I did it, right? It, I mean, it's very sharp. Uh, I did that. It did not come that way. Yeah, I mean, God, we probably opened every ProTec I've had. I've had uh, maybe I've had eight ProTex we've had uh, from people we know and our own ProTex that's come back, and all of them have been dull. Yeah, none of them have been acceptably sharp for a two hundred fifty dollar or two hundred twenty whatever. Yeah. $200 yeah. range knife. Yeah. But guys, let us know. Is this a knife you'd be into? Do you own any Protex? Um, you know, or do you own any Emersons? Would you be willing to carry an automatic Emerson? Do you feel like we're being nitpick and judgy on the edge? Like, has your, has your Protex edge been good? Maybe we, yeah. you know, maybe, maybe I'm judgy, you know, because I, I sharpen knives that, uh, for me, I just don't think it has an acceptable level of sharpness. But, well, because we do have knives that do come exceptionally sharp. Yeah, and that's the thing. I'm just holding them to the standard that others have set. Yeah, that's it. So, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Yep. Make sure you catch, uh, you know, other videos. So hit that bell icon. Yep. Appreciate and, it. Uh, you'll be notified every time we drop a new one. Stay sharp. Stay sharp.